okay guys, but 600 kilometers to Stockholm. Um, I finally got an invite to go to Stockholm Open, but it's pretty hard to get one. I think if, if you're not building a race car, it's the only reason I got one is because I'm building a race car and planning to compete next year. If you're just a civilian or a stranger, which I am, it's really hard to get an invite, and I really spend a lot of time and. Uh, the guys that gave me one and uh, he's gonna take care of me up there. I want to thank you in advance. And uh, when you see this video, you thumbs up for inviting me. But to be honest, I, I know what to expect race rise, but how it's gonna go on, where it's gonna go on, which guys are racing who, and how everything's gonna happen, I have no idea. And I have no idea how organized it is or what it's gonna be like. But that's really the reason why we're going there because when I'm going to compete with the team next year with our race car. We really, uh, we really we don't want to know how it's going to go on because, you know, I don't want to be sitting, uh, a race driver don't want to be sitting in a race car with no clue what's going on, what's happening, why are they doing this, why are they doing that. Uh, so it, this is really an, uh, a trip to learn to, yeah, to how to behave and how they're doing in Sweden because Danish street racing and Swedish street racing is two very different things where I would say that Danish street racing is, I don't know, junior championships and... Stockholm Open is a world championship, so it's a pretty big difference, but uh, that's hopefully what we're going to find out uh, in about, I don't know, seven hours or so, so see you later. Stockholm, waiting for our contact, uh, have no idea what he looks like, uh, only knows his real name and have a phone number and he told us to show up here, so I guess we're waiting now, he said he's gonna be here in like 10 minutes, so we're just gonna chill out and see what's happened and let's take it from there, but uh, pretty exciting stuff, uh, had some pizza in Sweden, so I guess uh, Italian pizza is also made by Turkish guy in uh, Sweden, but uh, I think that that's just a general trend. So, I didn't know uh, Italy had that many tourists, but apparently they do. So, but uh, we'll give an update later. I don't know how much we can film, but I think we can film some races. But I don't, just, we're gonna attend the driver's meeting, but I don't know if we can film that because I don't know how much to trust us. But we're gonna film as much as possible, uh, at least give you updates between the races and film as much as the races as we can. But let's see. Okay guys, we uh, we met up with with Team Chevelle SS, uh, actually one of my favorite teams. We're real hardcore cars. It's not really a street car, but it's raced on the street. And we're leaving now after sitting for two hours, waiting, discussing, finding out where we're racing. We have no idea where we're going, but we're following out. Really nice guys, really nice crew. Really big crew, actually. It's like 20, 25 people here. 10 cars, motorbikes, whatever. So we're, just, uh, we're just gonna follow the guys and see what happens. and. We're gonna film the race and see how it goes and hopefully they'll go on all the way to the finals. They have to race four times to get to the final and hopefully they win that one too because yeah I don't know. This is the team we're this is the team we're rooting for now, so let's hope for the best. But really exciting, you know, two hours just flew by and uh, we're ready. We're hyped. We go, let's go! 
They're about to unload the car. We made up, I don't know. The crew is like 10 cars. And uh, Ronono, he's, uh, he's with me. Pretty crazy stuff. So from here on out, uh, the car has to drive from uh, at its own power from race to race. So it's not allowed to be trailered around. So, but they're gonna bring the trailer so if the car breaks, they can uh, bring it home immediately. But still, good stuff. Not very coordinated, but the, everybody is slowing down, getting in line. Everyone is fighting for getting closest, even though it's only going to be like a two-second walk up to the base. Uh, slowing down. Uh, I don't know where the spot is, but uh, I guess it's uh, very close up ahead. And uh, when we're near, we're going to shut down the, this entire freeway. Uh, it's it's 12 o'clock, and we've been here for five hours now, and this is. Uh, about the, the, this is the first race we're going to see. So the Chevelle is uh, up there in front with the Audi racing. So let's see how it goes. But uh, pretty crazy stuff uh, compared to what I've experienced. Uh, I've never. This is my first time blocking off a public uh, highway, so it's going to be pretty crazy. And guys are driving like crazy, fighting for spots. But uh, let's see what happens. Uh, the race, of course, and uh, go go team Chevelle. So, Fucking hardcore stuff. It's a uh, sweet and insane. What can I say? For an underground street race, I've never seen so many guys at the location, and pretty crazy race too. Uh, it's, uh, it's just insane. What can I say? So shit, I don't even know where to go. Everyone is turning off right now. Uh, so. Yeah, the police are right here. I don't know. I don't know where the race car is and uh, the guys were supposed to follow, but uh, we'll find out. But uh, pretty amazing stuff. Uh, the Chevrolet clearly won, so it's uh, on to the next round. So now we just have to meet up with the guys and find out where to go now. So pretty crazy. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Pero tú no quieres ver lo que estamos mejor. Right now we are following the race car uh, and we are not really crew but it's obvious that the crew is so routine, it's, the, it's routine that they are shielding off anyone that's trying to pass. They are actually blocking the, complete, the whole highway so people can't come up from behind. The only thing we are doing is just trying to keep pace here but we just passed the globe here in uh, Stockholm so you know, there's, there's a lot, going, lot of stuff going into this that you, know, you don't really see just watching race videos. Just the whole transport time and now we're on racing. Just check out the support vehicles. We've got a Porsche Turbo, Nissan GTR, BMW M3. That's pretty much uh, what people you get to uh, go used to get uh, between the races in. But not the, that's not the race cars. These cars are slow cars. That's just just a small fact. Chevelle is uh, going to the final now and we're doing uh, the final push on the Swedish highways here and it's, uh, the sun is already, uh, it's already, uh, sun already went up and it's actually pretty, it's gonna be a pretty nice day. So we're gonna move out to the location, take some air out of the tires, get the car ready and uh, hopefully they're gonna take it. It's pretty cool following uh, the same car from start to finish and uh, at least it's gonna be second. So. Hopefully he's gonna be first. And it's, gonna, it's, it's been an insane night. It's been mind blowing. So let's see what happens and uh, let's get the last bits on film and uh, hopefully a little bit of a victory celebration too. You know, pretty cool. 
But the one thing I can say about now compared to earlier does not is everybody drives a lot nicer. And I mean a lot nicer. <laughs> decided to go uh, straight home after the racing was done and uh, we got some uh, free 1320 uh, video uh, caps and uh, shirts. Thank you for that one, Carl. Uh, hope you enjoyed the beer. I, I can't really describe this night. I've never experienced anything as crazy as this uh, in any way. Uh, I don't know, Stockholm Open puts you in a situation where you have to uh, consider do you want to crash your car? to make it before they do the first burnout? Or do you want to let the crazy street that also want to make it to the first burnout get in front of you? Oh, they'd race you. <laughs> this is a race location. <laughs> um, so it, it's it's really up to that and one wrong turn and you're gonna lose a race and you're only gonna, gonna be able to see if you're following a team, you have made four or five races in a night, so you don't want to do a wrong turn. And if you don't know the town, it's it's so crazy, the whole transportation, racing, evading cops. I really have no words for it. It's, you really have to have been here to really experience it. And I know that the streets that's watching this, the locals, they're, they're gonna be like, ah, this, we do this every weekend, this is normal stuff. But for a guy that never done this before, it's really insane. Also that people are trying to keep up in GTRs and Porsches and M3s and Evos and you know cars that you consider fast and really cool but they're like oh we're just using the transportation to see the race <laughs> doing this is in a van oh they race here too they race here a lot <laughs> Sweden is just 
Stockholm is just a crazy place. You know, when you go on the highways, it's like you, you find burnout marks quite often. And I don't think I've been to a large parking lot without burnout marks and, you know, skids, skid marks. I mean, I don't know, it's, it's just car crazy in a, in a really insane, crazy way. But we decided to go straight home and we got around 650 kilometers to go. So I'm, I'm, I'm running on my last Red Bull and uh, when that one run, when that one runs out, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna take a nap and uh, run only. He's gonna he's gonna do some hours in the car and then we're gonna trade again. But uh, 